Next component we're going to look at is uh, an electronic e-stop. Okay, so this is different to our pneumatic e-stop. Okay, so pneumatic e-stop works quite uh, similar to a pneumatic, you know, valve switch here, except we'll have a detent button. It needs to be released, but it'll work the same with the gates, you know, spring return and control of flow. Over here, though, it's purely electric, so we can break the electric signal. And what we have is, when we zoom in, you can see it, hopefully they're clear. You have the top, you literally just have the power for the bulb. You'll see there's a bulb coming on there. If I just cut the power like that, there's no bulb uh, coming on there. So that's just a bit of a test light maybe for your circuit. Okay. Again, it operates in the detent. And it can be wired normally open or normally closed, which hopefully we can see from in here. Okay, there we go. So on the normally closed side, we just have the power coming in, the 24 volts, and coming out, going into a bulb. And you can see that operating there, so when we switch it, it breaks off. And then the normally closed side, again, it comes from 24 volts, it's right down, going in, and then coming out, and into the other bulb. So when we switch, push that, it switches. You can see the normally open and normally closed contacts there, and the relay went inside it. And that can be used as your e-stop.